This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow our back here with another episode of The Bard's Tale Remastered and Resnarkled. In the last episode, we went through the burial chamber to uh, see if we could find some extra Beautiful stuff to continue on. And we did. We found trap. a... Uh, yes, we know about the trap. We found a uh, ancient Viking lord or warrior or whatever called Hernern or something. Hernern. And uh, he helped us... Uh, he gave us the uh, stone to get to the next section. Um, and we sent him to Valhalla by killing a lot of dudes and helping him kill a lot of dudes. But uh, fortunately, the Nordic Valkyrie girl would not take us. But anyway, uh, uh, I was able to explore the rest of this place off screen. I didn't want to show it because I didn't think it was really necessary. But I found I out that the guys do spawn. Uh, but there are two treasure chests in there with uh, some a decent amount of money. So it, it's up to you whether you want to get it or not. I think I got about like... Traps. 500 right silver worth uh, by both of the treasures. One in that big, the big square, like right north of my location, and then the very top of the map, uh, where the treasure chests are. Right but yeah, here. you basically, I don't really know of a very good strategy. All I did was I just ran past him and would summon Hearn, and uh, I used the lightning, or lightning, I used the light fairy because he can sometimes randomly stun targets. Um, so it was able to stop them from following me, so that's one strategy. Oh, we also got this poor fear bull killed. Well, I mean, he's the one who ran into a trap, but anyway. Yeah, so it was a bit obnoxious, but uh, yeah, we, we did. I did have to end up using a few summon stones, though, um, to uh, do that, but uh, oh well. But uh, yeah, this place is a... Uh, I don't remember this place being so hard, though, overall. Maybe it's just... Maybe it was different as a, when I was younger, because see, I was a young adult when this game came out, so... You would think I'd be in the same mindset as I am now, but uh, I don't know. I guess maybe I was still in that kind of that young, like, oh man, this is this is fine. I can handle all this or something like that. I don't know. I kind of wish I remembered vivid details about that in my life. Like, I've over for the most part, I've kind of forgotten a lot of uh, my mentality about things when I when I've gotten older. I, I don't even remember how I thought it, thought of things as when I was a teenager or a young adult or even as a kid, really. All that stuff's kind of just been, kind of just knocked out of my brain. Ow! Knocked out of my brain, so I, I could not even begin to tell you, um, you know, my, uh, I don't know, I was going to take advantage of those traps, I guess. Too bad, uh, Crone died again. Eh. Too bad the Crone died again, but, oh uh, well. At least she doesn't cost a whole lot to, uh, summon, so. Keep open the thing. You can tell that the uh, the explorer wants to stop the trap, but uh, the AI is like, I'm gonna stop the trap, uh, defeat the dude. Stop the trap, defeat the dude. Ah, God, I keep getting caught in the trap. I was hoping to just activate it without actually like getting hit by it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what my thought. I don't. I don't really recall what my thoughts were about like certain types of game. Oh, come on! Wow, you can tell I'm a. Uh, you can tell I'm starting to get frustrated. And this is supposed to be like a, a hack and slash comedic game, you know, or at least the idea is supposed to be, you know, comedic in nature and making fun of all the tropes and ideas of, of action game or action fantasy games of yore, but uh, it kind of almost falls into the traps of some of those hack and slash games too. That's the problem with certain like humor slash parody games that try to like make fun of those those that they almost during their own designs kind of suffer from the same stuff in the attempts of making a humorous game, you know? At least that's how I feel, anyway. There are a few there are a few games that can kind of pull that off, but not too many, though. Like I said, they fall into the same uh, game design trap. Uh, and I guess it's just well, whoever, like, whoever wanted to write the story had a pretty interesting idea for a story, but didn't but wasn't, but didn't have game design in mind when they were thinking about doing it, you know? I kind of wish this game had a, like a transparency a filter or whatever where if you're like over uh, things like beams like that you can still see because there's a few times where I was trying to fight some of the uh, uh, Vikings uh, and uh, I would get uh, fight them in doorways and I, I wouldn't even know what was going on I couldn't see uh, oh well yeah this game it, it did come out in the early well, I, I guess mid 2000, 2004 or something like that. So it was kind of still in that. Well, let's see. PlayStation 2 actually had the like. I think it had the longest run out of any game console. Like that. That system lasted a long time in just terms of like how long the system. Oops. Dang it. 
I unsummoned the crone. I thought she had died again, that's why I did that. Alright, back to summoning. And, uh, so I was, I was trying to think about, like, I guess this wasn't at the very, the, I guess this game wasn't really at the very beginning of the PS2 era where it had a lot of, it, could, it was still having, like, a weird transition from, like, the PS1 and PS2, so there was a lot of weird design games as well as, like, graphically looking games. I kind of remember a couple of the first ones, though, like the bouncer when the Square Enixes go into, like, a, a I don't know if I'd say hack and slash, like a beat em up genre. That one was an interesting game. Not great, but it was interesting. I'll give them th I'll give Square for making, at the time, making games like that, which... Had they become Square Enix by then? I think they had been. Because I think uh, Fans Final Fantasy The Spirits Within came, came in around the early 2000s. I think it was like 2001 or 2002, I think, is when that game released. Or movie, I mean. Which caused uh, Square to... Uh, uh, collapse because they put so much money into it and it was a bomb. And I watched, I've watched the movie. It's kind of boring, actually. It's not what you expected from a Fall Fantasy movie. From a Fall Fantasy movie, you expect, like, some fantasy action genre movie. Instead, it was, like, sci-fi, like, with guns and all this other stuff, which is fine. I mean, we've had Fall Fantasy movies with guns and then, like, Fall Fantasy 8 and stuff like that, but, uh, I don't know. It's just, I think that's not what people are expecting because by the time that movie had come out, the last game, oh god, uh, the last uh, game that came out had been ten, I think. And that had standard, you know, fancy, fancy swords, sword and sorcery type of stuff. So, let's see what games had what Final Fantasy games had had uh, guns. Final Fantasy VIII, uh, Final Fantasy, uh, yeah, jeez, a crimey. Boy, oh boy. Uh, I guess I should summon a princess. Uh, at least she... Uh, of course, I summon her right before the crone dies so she doesn't get healed too. Boo. Maybe I should be using the bow and arrow. I, don't know. I mean, I know these guys aren't going to respawn, but... Doesn't mean I'm not a... Does not mean I am not cross. Like, I'm not very good. I'm, apparently, I'm really bad about picking up the patterns for... Oh, did the guy... Uh, oh, he did. Uh, that's right. He... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Cool. I just thought I was going to die again. Like, the la was it the last episode I died? Yeah. All of a sudden. Man. That kind of... That actually kind of annoyed me. Pretty badly. Uh... Because I was almost about to have to just... Re I was almost going to just redo the whole episode. But I saw I saw the timer. I was at like at 24 minutes or something. I was like, no! I don't want to record the whole thing again. Which I've done that before. But I don't know. For some reason, I didn't want to do it with this game. Be after all that work, I was like, eh, I'll just accept the big L. And, uh, and uh, say I died. And then just do it off screen. So I don't know why. There's some games I don't want to show myself dying. And others I do. I don't know. Oh, I guess I'll look into uh, game recording and stuff like that. Sometimes, I mean, most games I'll show my losses, but very few games I'll I'll cut out my losses and just show me succeeding. Uh, for what reason, I could not tell you. I mean, you think it'd probably be more hilarious, me showing my failures more than anything, but... Uh, ah, jeez. No, get back here, Crone. Get back here, Crone. Get back. Thank you. Actually, well, the only reason I don't want to push the get back button is I, I feel like that'll make the, uh, uh, make the explorer stop disarming the trap, which, uh, I think next time I do it, I'll, I'll ch test to see if that actually works. Stop blocking, you dork. There we go. Man, maybe I should have, maybe I should have made a flail build instead, because you can't, you can't block that. Although I don't think it does as much damage because it has the unblockable ability and it's a bit slower, but... Oh well. Maybe if we get enough uh, talents by the end of the game. I don't remember what, what the highest level... I mean, you could probably get pretty high if you grind it, but I'm trying to remember what the relatively moderate level you'd be at by the end of this uh, game. It's been so long since I've beaten it, I don't remember what level it was by the time I, the game ended, so... 
Man, it's, looks like it's just a big old square. It's a big old square. I think I just need to, like, pay attention to my, like, how combat's going a bit more instead of just trying to button mash. I do, I do that every once in a while in certain games. Like, I'll, I'll forget strategy if I go through too many, like, easy parts of the game back to back, and then I'll just, I'll get in the habit of not paying attention to my, uh, surroundings or whatever. I guess they call that, was it, comfort or whatever? You get, uh, if you're not challenged, you, uh, you get lax or whatever. And of course, sometimes you just want to play a game that's uh, doesn't require too much of you, depending on your mood. Get some of the you again. At least we're getting a decent amount of treasure from this place. Let's see what? Wasn't I a little over four thousand before I started the winter wasteland area of the game? So. Yeah, made a decent amount of coins since here, so definitely going to have enough money to... Although, probably by the time we get out here, there'll probably be a new town, like either Downby or whatever. And then we'll probably spend up all that money on, uh... The bard um, journeyed through the tomb of the undead Jarl and emerged once again into the light. That was quite unpleasant. Last time I take vacation suggestions from a trowel. Your unpleasantries aren't over, me lad. I see you have me sword. Now hand it over. Speak of the devil. Aye, it's me. And must I remind you of me gish? But as promised, it will be lifted once you give me that sword. Gish? I thought it was Gase or Gios or whatever. Code Gios? No. No, no, no crazy mi mi military anime ah, here. The sword. I agree. It does belong in your possession. Allow me to repay you for your hospitality earlier. Here, catch! Oh, not very good reflexes at all, my friend. Well, you know what they say. Live and learn, or in your case. And so, having broken the curse, and with a new, albeit slightly used, sword in hand, our hero continued on his way to the mountain tower. Was this just me, or was that like almost weirdly dark for this game? Which is odd. This game's already dark. It has already enough dark humor as it is. So, I don't know why just him just chucking the sword at the trowel and killing him like that. I don't know, just. I knew, I knew it was coming because, like I said, I, I played this game a long time ago and I still remember certain beats, but, you know. I wonder if it's just because my, sentiment, uh, my sentiments have changed over the years, too, where certain things, like, you know, you laugh at certain humor, but then when you get older, you're almost like, ugh. Not that I shouldn't have laughed at that stuff, but more like, uh, man, that's so darker than I remember, you know, that type of thing, so. I kind of miss, I uh, kind of, although I do kind of miss humor Traps. being a bit more, right over I don't here. Know, I don't know the word we... Now you know how I feel. Ow. Uh, I don't know if risque is the word I would use, but just... I don't know, different. Sometimes, depending on, like, where you, like, humor and stuff like that, you almost feel like it's too... Like it's almost gotten too piecemeal, if that makes any sense. Must stop. Trap. Stop that trap, dude. Stop that trap. Elmer Akbar will, will praise you. Oh, so that's it. So the one area I... I bypassed. Oh, one of you guys. At least they can't block me from behind. They came from behind. All right, we're the last of you, and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, I would be glad. Now I think. Oh, there was that one room, but we never unlocked it, unless that broken a uh, uh, key thing. Did I miss a key somewhere? Hmm. Cause yeah, there's that one room that that I couldn't open. Let me go back really quick since all the since all the traps are unlocked, it won't matter. I feel like uh I feel like there should be a way to unlock that. I bet there is. I maybe I just don't either. I don't have that summon yet, or or you have to come back here later. But I I don't know. I'll double check and see if maybe getting that broken keystone will open it, but I doubt it because I think all all it said was that the door was locked and that's it. It didn't say like unless you can get out. Oh, oh, I 
Oh, that's right. That that reset itself. Uh, actually, let's see what happens if I kill him. Okay, he still stays. So if you tell him to uh, hold back, all he does is uh, he still stays on the trap until it's done. Um. Uh, Oh yeah, and then the burial chamber, like all the all the rooms start spawning um, Vikings. Even the areas that didn't have people the first time you go through it, um, they start having a uh, Viking spawn, which I was I was actually kind of surprised. Ah. Hmm. But yeah, there is a summon that you can. Uh... Yeah, we'll just let the crone die again. Um, there is a summon you can get that I believe is supposed to open up locked doors, but we don't have that one yet, so I don't know. I don't think. Uh... I think the game, the game would have given me a key in a treasure chest if I had found it, so... Well, we'll, uh, we'll put this on the... Uh, I might have to try looking that up, see how you open that door. It might be I need that summon that I don't have yet, but... Which is weird, you think, uh... I don't think the game uh, has really been designed to, like, have areas that you'd have to go back to later. Maybe I was supposed to... Maybe the game expected me maybe have a certain map unlocked by this point so I could utilize that summon, but I could be wrong. Yeah, may, I, I think in between episodes I'll double check the um, maybe check a guide or something like that just to see what I what I missed. Um, I usually try not looking at those until after I beat the game, so I'm not like kind of spoiling myself. Because I, I want to... Oh, I don't know why I went this way. Man, I've already been through there and I'm already messing up. I need. I apparently I need the map 24/7. Otherwise, I will get lost. Man, my, uh, my if my fellow uh, Boy Scouts could see me now. Actually, we weren't really super. At least the troop I was in wasn't like super, super like. You know, like by the rules and all this other stuff. But you know, most of the adults we had were pretty responsible enough to keep us on track. But we weren't like. You we weren't so stringent that we couldn't have fun, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Although I bet I bet I wouldn't be surprised if, if there if if I did miss the key in here, it was by from something that was pretty obvious to everyone else, but I missed it by just walking past or whatever. Goodbye, dead uh dead Gemma or whatever your name is, so and out into the wild yonder. Oh, and now we're back at I wonder if we can Oh, I can't go through the... Ah, oh, do I really have to go through the mountain temple again to, like, get back to the old areas? Huh, it's not letting me, um... Yeah, the game's not... Oh, have we hit, a, like, a no turning point? No, that can't be right. But yeah, I can't, uh... Let's see, maybe we can... Is there really no music? I can barely hear anything. Hmm. But yeah, it's not letting me go back into the, uh... Go back into the, um... Oh, wow. Um... Now I'll see if I can fight them. God, he's, I, just, I was really not prepared for, to fight like a bunch of... No, I'm, I'm summoning her. This is ridiculous. This is too, too much. Eleven Vikings is just too much! Oh, he didn't even paralyze everyone either. Huh. Oh yeah, I guess I don't need the the um. Uh... Ah, freaking a! I just summon the bow. Or summon the bow. I'm just gonna use the bow, I guess. Let's see if I. I'm sorry. I breathe a bit. Ahead. Oh my god. Good gravy. Great balls of fire. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll die from the poison. Yeah, Vikings are pretty nasty. Man, I don't remember them being this nasty. Yeah, the old age, I guess, makes me forget those types of things, apparently. Okay, well, I don't need to summon the Explorer now, now that we're out of that place. But yeah, I can't... I can't go back into the uh, things, which is weird. Uh, oh, I guess I'm out of uh, magic. I was wondering why I couldn't hit.
I guess we'll just go in the mountain tower because yeah, I couldn't. Um, it wouldn't let me go back into the. Uh, um, Uh, into the temple, or not temple, the uh, gate or whatever, so I don't remember this game having like a no turning back. I, I think I was always able to go back to old areas at some point, but hmm. I guess I guess I'll go in the tower for now. Maybe you need to do that to unlock the next section, so As the bard strove to complete his quest and rescue the princess the enemy grew ever more desperate to put an end to his efforts. Cuthbert is very poorly in his efforts. This bard has already evaded one of his traps and has reached the mountain tower alive. Lou should be able to handle him, but take some of the brothers and ensure he does not leave the tower alive. Yes, my lord. See that you don't fail. Use any means necessary to stop him. You know what's at stake. We will do as you command. No! Ham has fallen. I would disturb your vigil for no other reason. I always thought he was soft. So this man that defeated her, he's coming to pay me a visit next? He's almost there now. It's been a long time since I've had a challenge. This should be amusing. Do not underestimate this man, Lou. He is formidable. As formidable as me? I doubt that. As unlikely as that possibility may be, I warn you once again to use caution. I'm sending some of my servants to aid you in case. Don't insult me! I'll take care of this problem and I will do it without your aid. I'll speak to you again once he's dead. Insufferable man. Still, such men have their uses, do they not, Finnick? I was wondering when you'd regain consciousness. I was rather hoping I'd be spared your company for a while longer. You haven't changed much. You never did have anything resembling manners. My champion is going to free me, Finnick. I finally found the right man. That remains to be seen. If he's too much for your men, perhaps you should go see to him personally. Silence! Or can it be that you must maintain proximity to this prison you have me in? That you're using much of your own power to keep me locked away? Hmm. Do you have enough power left to defeat the bard when he reaches you? I wonder. Enough! I've more than enough power to deal with both of you, princess. Say that you remember this. Well, looks like the uh, looks like we're gonna have another enemy pop up here pretty soon. Well, unlike now. Oh boy. To tell you the truth, I didn't expect to see you here. I congratulate you on making it thus far. Perhaps there is more to you than first meets the eye. Oh, like uh, Transformers? I love Optimus Prime. You have Prime. no idea how much it warms my heart to hear that from you. Give me a moment to write this down in my diary. Ever the spirited one, eh? <laughs> Your jibes won't help you now. Hmm. I know they helped me Tough so talk far. from a man with a small army behind him. Are you that fearful of me? We'll see how afraid I am. Leave the bar to me. Prepare yourself. Get him, Cuthbert. Oh, we're fighting. Get him, okay, we're fighting Cuthbert. <laughs> He'll fight like an old woman. Better than fighting like a trow. Four to one odds against the bar. Any takers? I'll take those odds. Kill him. Oh, I seem to be beating his ass pretty, pretty badly. <gasps> I uh -huh. that 
You know, like the fact of him basically saying bring it on and the other's like, yeah! Oh, I guess we have to we have to go through this, huh? <laughs> I was wondering if we could go back to the main map, so. Alright, well, it looks like, uh, well, we beat the uh, Kath bad, but, uh, we know that the rest of his, uh, minions are gonna be coming by here pretty soon, and then we've got that gold Adonis guy gonna be coming here pretty soon as well, so. I assume it's gonna be like her, and we're probably gonna have to end up fighting him at the top of the tower. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, little, uh, little side information, I guess, that the. I don't know if I should say this. Oh, we're we'll finding some more undead. Huh. The only time we had to run across that is when we fought the Nick. Or, we didn't actually fight it. When we ran across the Nick Navy or whatever. I'll put a spell on Damn, you. these guys are. These enemies are just getting, like, more and more heinous, man. Now, I'm talking about, I'm terms of difficulties, what I mean by that, not the, like, straight up, like, nastiness or anything like that. But yeah, a little side note. I had to, uh,. That previous cutscene before we fought Cathbad or whatever, um, I actually had to like reload an old save and plop in the cutscene because for whatever reason, even though this is an installed game, so it shouldn't be suffering from that, the cutscene glitched. So you may or may not see like a complete version of that scene, or you might see it abruptly end, depending on if I can get that uh, scene to work properly. I'm glad the game lets you like uh, skip scenes that you've. Uh, uh, or just skip any scene if you press a button, but, uh, you know, that's not a good sign that, like, the download game glitched to, to the point, like, it, like, it, it got stuck on the, um, um, there's a scene where it shows, like, a uh, cat, or, cat, but, with the, the, the new, the gold Adonis guy, um, Lord, um, he, he, like, gets some and he, he starts talking to the, the head, head of the group or whatever, and then it just stayed on the screen for, like, I don't know how many minutes it was. I, I waited for a while to see if I could and see if it reset, but uh, yeah, it was a while till it uh, it didn't even do anything. I eventually had to just skip it, um, and then I'll I added the uh, scene back in later. So, but unfortunately, by this recording, I don't know if I've actually done that yet or properly or whatever. So we'll we'll have to wait. And I'll have to see in post production afterwards. So. All right. Yeah, just a little bit more behind the scenes stuff um, for you folks, for those who care. Yeah, I thought we'd already be at the tower, like like in the previous, uh, the forest tower where we were already, ah, we were already there, pretty much. It was just like hop, skip, and jump, and boom, we were ah. Jeez. God, these enemies are starting to get more and more. Oh god, no, no, no. Oh. Some of the princess. Gee, many crying. Man, maybe I'm just tired while playing right now. I'm just getting my butt beat by these guys. Well, you know what they say, folks. Don't play, don't play games if you're tired. Otherwise, you're going to make plenty of mistakes. Which I've been doing that quite a quite a lot in the last couple episodes. Maybe I'm not choosing the. Maybe I'm just not choosing the right group. Maybe we should try using like the bodyguard and stuff like that instead, because the bodyguard is supposed to like pull enemies away from you. So I don't know. Utilizing the block function more often too. Stop blocking so I can get past your defenses. Oh man! I didn't realize how annoying blocking can be in this game. I mean, it's good for me, but it's also bad for the enemy because they can just keep doing it as many times as I can if they, if they do their patterns correctly. And then it's more just a, 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 an area of a, a war of attrition. Hmm. Yeah, I hope we can go back to the old areas. Um, maybe there is a maybe there is a point of no return in this game. I could have swore you could go back to some of the old areas. Like, for example, I never even did Finstown or not. Um, if I can't, for some reason, if I find out I can't go back, I'll probably just upload an old file and show me. Cause I, I've, I've, during most playthroughs like this, I tend to, I tend to save like every single new save as a separate slot if I can. So that way I don't, uh, like I said, if I make any mistakes over the course of the game or whatever, um, 
I can go back and either reload or fix it or find something or whatever. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good lord. Yeah, these guys are just... I don't know why I've just been like having a tough time. I mean... Oops. Yeah, well, that's fine. Maybe it's better to have a good frontline firewood Ready to scrap. The group. Let's see if that works. There's just so many of them. Of course, maybe it's because I'm not dying in like one or two hits, like the trout at the beginning of the game. So just gotta just gotta remember I can't just like browbeat everything. But I want to browbeat them so badly. I'll finish these guys off in the next little kill of the new episode. Because I don't know how much time I need to add to the video to for the that cutscene I need to add attack on to because of the game messed up on me. I wonder if just actually with the whole ice flow thing and having to go through that, I wonder if maybe I did hit the point of no return by. Or there might be there might be oh there's a safe spot never mind I'll just play to the safe spot I was actually gonna run all the way back but now that I know there's a safe spot um, up ahead I'll just I'll keep playing till that appears it's all it's like right there so yeah it's just on the other side right here so okay we'll we'll play a little bit longer I've noticed the last couple episodes have been getting pretty long so. I think it's just because one, just playing a little bit longer, and two, not finding any good, like, really good spots to stop, stop playing at. So, all right, well, we finally got to finish through the 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 uh, burials, uh, bur underground temple or whatever, and dealt with the Vikings. But our job's not done yet. Now it's time to go t through the top of another tower. What what will await us there? What will the gold Adonis te teach us? Find out next time in the next episode of the Bard's Tale Remastered, Resnarkled. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.